Hey guys, it's Catherine from Bridges for Brain Injury. I'm back again, just here with another furry, furry fuzzy friend of ours. Um, this here is Queen Penelope. Now Penelope is a Virginia opossum and not possum like currently referred to. And she actually is North America's only marsupial. So they are found in North America. You're often gonna find them on the side of the road because she's not too smart, don't tell her that. You're gonna find them in their, your backyard and probably in your trash can because they're gonna like to eat whatever they can find. Now Penelope here is about one year old and she's about a good five to seven pounds. Um, she is a full grown adult opossum. And they are marsupials, which means that the females can carry babies in their pouches. It's actually, their um, babies are born to be the size of a grain of rice. And they can actually fit a whole litter into a teaspoon, believe it or not. And these little pals, their tails, they're called prehensile tails, so it acts like a fifth limb for them. You see she wraps it around my arm so it makes her feel safe when I'm holding her. But it's actually a myth that they can't support their body weight by their tail. So if you see videos of baby opossums hanging by trees or by the clotheslines or stuff, they're actually placed there for a couple seconds and then taken down because it can't support their body weight. Also, their only form of self-defense is going to be called gaping. So gaping is when they open their mouth really, really wide. They show you those 52 razor sharp teeth and then they hiss at you like a cat. So they pretty much are just trying to act scary, but they're not scary at all. It's just for looks. And they also can play dead very well. They can roll over, stick out their tongue and actually distinguish a smell like they're dead. So they actually really stick to their name by playing dead. These fuzzy creatures are noctur nocturnal, so you're going to find them most at night. And they're going to—they're pretty much um, opportunistic omnivores, so they're going to eat anything that they can find. They're going to eat greens, fruits, bugs, grubs, and other small creatures, whatever they can find, especially in your garbage can. And they can't contract Lyme disease. They actually eat 100 ticks a day in the wild. It's their favorite snack. They also can't contract rabies or certain kind of snake venoms, believe it or not. There's actually quite a misperception with these animals. They're actually perceived to be as um, mean and kind of vicious. But as you can see, Miss Penelope is just trying to do her job in the environment. And she's actually as harmless and sweet as can be. She makes a great education animal. And we love having opossums around just for that reason. Also to help protect our environment also. So we just want to thank you, Miss Queen Penelope, for being such a great education animal. And thank you all for listening. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page at Bridges for Brain Injury or Wildlife Rockstars. You can also go on our website. It's bridgesforbrainjury.org to learn more about our program or our day program. And you can also check out our Instagram page and it's at wildlife underscore rockstars. Thanks for listening.